Even before Lawrence Summers bowed out of the running to lead the Federal Reserve, this was sure to be a week where the Fed moves front and center. Tomorrow, a two-day policy-setting meeting begins, one of the most eagerly anticipated in years, as the central bank weighs whether or how much to cut back its stimulus programs. Steve Leisman spells out the stakes. With the departure of Larry Summers from the race to be the next Fed chairman, current Vice Chair Janet Yellen has emerged as the frontrunner. In a survey on Monday by CNBC of leading Wall Street economists, strategists, and money managers, 88% now expect President Obama to nominate Yellen to succeed the outgoing Fed chairman, Ben Bernanke. For markets, the departure of Summers was good news. Surveys showed Wall Street preferred Yellen 5 to 1 over Summers. In part, Summers was seen as being less comfortable with the Fed's current easy monetary policy compared with Yellen. There was also just uncertainty surrounding someone like Summers coming in and taking over who has not been part of the current board and its policies. CNBC asked respondents to grade Summers, Yellen and Fed Chair Bernanke on 10 qualifications for the top job at the nation's central bank. In the overall score, Summers finished last. Yellen graded higher than Summers in eight of 10 categories, including political and communication skills, monetary policy expertise, respect from other financial officials around the world, and ability to manage a financial crisis along with banking regulatory expertise. There was some suggestion from the White House today that President Obama could move in the next couple of weeks to appoint Bernanke's successor. That would remove a significant cloud of uncertainty for markets, especially if the nominee is Yellen, who was well known by Wall Street, expected to continue Bernanke's policies, and is seen as being easy to confirm in a fractious Senate. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman.